What's up, everybody? This is Gray Man here. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning so far. Uh, I did this, uh, basically, this uh, review last night, and uh, I learned a few things uh, over the past week since I've had it. One is it is not the Maxpedition uh, Versapack Jumbo or Jumbo Versapack, as they like to call it. Come to find out, this is the Fat Boy uh, Versapack. And the reason that it, it kind of, uh, I was curious, it was like, I swear I ordered the right one. I must have gotten something wrong when I ordered this thing, and I'm just going to deal with it. Uh, you know, we're all humans, we all make mistakes, but uh, it'll serve me for the purpose that I need it for. It's missing the water bottle uh, little thing on the side. Usually on this side is where it's at. But anyways, so I packed it full of gear uh, and wore it throughout the week. Uh, was it since last Wednesday when I got rained out trying to do that? So I told you guys that I would kind of, you know, do a little breakdown of it. So it's packed full of a bunch of stuff. Now, I'm personally not happy with what I have set up in it. Uh, I just kind of put a bunch of different things in there that I thought I would need and, uh, you know, for an EDC type of situation. And I also wanted to treat, see how the weight was on my shoulders and wearing it on different sides and stuff like that. So I'm going to pull everything out of this thing. I, I, I tell you one thing, it does hold a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm going to, I guess I'm going to re, I'm going to redo this entire bag. Uh, you'll see the stuff I pull out of it. And there's a lot of things that I think I don't need and some things that I feel like I should add that I do need. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into some of the specs of the bag before I, I open it up and kind of go through it. And I'm smart this time, and I got these notes up so I can actually read them so I don't miss anything and give you guys accurate information directly from Maxpedition's website. This thing is made out of 1050 denier water and abrasion-resistant lightweight ballistic nylon fabric. It is triple polyurethane coated for water resistance, uh, which we saw when I got caught in the rain. It did pretty well. I'll give it that. High tensile strength nylon webbing. Uh, let me see here. It says that it is stronger, stronger than, than any ordinary industry standard nylon thread. AS100 high-grade closed cell foam padding, material for superior shock protection, which I do give it that. On the shoulder, it feels good. Uh, they're talking about the, let me see here if I can wrap this around here. I'm talking about this foam padding, like let's say you see right in here, and also on the back of this thing. And th this is, I'm trying to do this on my desk. I had to stack books, widen out my camera and everything, but we're going to do the best we can. And there goes a book on the floor, but that's the back of it here with this padding here. Hopefully you guys can still see that when I set that down. It is what it is. And I see Lady Grey's hair on it. <laughs> so anyways, uh, let me see what else we got in here. Internal seams, taped and finished, paracord zipper pulls. Uh, we got stress points, double stitch, uh, bare tacked and box and X stitch for added strength. YKK high strength zippers and zipper tracks. Uh, UTX Duraflex nylon buckets for low shoulder closures, Teflon fabric protector for grime resistance and easy maintenance. The dimensions of this bag and man, it's the overall size. I don't want to go. I'm a, I don't think I, f I should have to go through every single one of them. Uh, it's a lot of room, uh, but I'll give you the overall size. It's 14 inches in length, six inches wide, and 14 inches in height. Uh, is the basic uh, part of it. Has a nice grab handle on it, uh, made from. 0.75 or three quarter inch webbing paracord sense storm collar to help keep contents out of the weather which I'll show you guys here in a minute uh, removable waist strap which I'm not using I got it taped off where is it I got it, I got it taped off here somewhere yeah right here I got, I got them taped off on both sides I'm a big guy and I just don't like the waist strap now you can play with this thing and, and make it more of a uh, waist bag if you want I guess I don't know it doesn't work for me I don't see it but anyways uh, let me see here. Three loops for PALS. Compatible webbing on the left strap base for attaching other Maxpedition gear. <laughs> one, let me see, one two inch by one and a half inch by five inch phone pouch with buckle enclosure on the right strap base with pen loop. Uh, and so on and so forth. So that's, that's just the gist of it, man. So let's kind of get into this. And so what I have in this bag and uh, what it is. So here, here's some of the problems I'm having. I want to stick this knife in there which you guys have seen this is the uh, Bravo let me see here let me try to wipe some it's dirty now because I've been using it I want to put this Bravo 
in this backpack here. But this thing that they give you here is massive, and it, it just doesn't fit, this sheath. So I have a friend of mine, he's going to make me a custom leather sheath for this little guy, and it'll fit nice and neat inside this bag. Uh, and the reason I chose this knife is because A, it's compact. Um, I can use it for fire starting and, and all, all different kinds of stuff. I, I'll do a different review out in the woods with something like this to kind of show you all the cool things that you can do with this Bravo uh, by Tops. Tops makes a good knife, uh, and they call it the, what is it, the excess. I can't even read it anymore because it's starting to rub off there from me using this knife, and it is extremely sharp. So anyways, that's one of the things that I would like to put in there uh, that I can't put in there as of right now. So... That's being said, let's kind of pull off everything on the outside. Um, here you can see I have hand lotion. You know, I just, uh, I like to, I like hand lotion. That's just me. Um, and on my outside, I have my keys. This is what I use this strap here for to keep my keys on. And, uh, you know, some people have EDC stuff on their keys, like lights and stuff like that. I do have one of these on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the Rescue Me. Uh, funny enough, I, I learned about this device maybe about a year or so ago. From a YouTube channel before I even started YouTube, uh, you guys might know who the Urban Prepper is. Um, so this thing is for, let's say if you get trapped in your car, you can pull this off here. And I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that. But let me see if I'll zoom up on that there. It probably won't do it. There we go. The rescue means that's to cut your, your seat belt there. And then this here, you push this against the window. It has a little plunger system in there that will shatter the window to get you out of your vehicle. Like I said, cut your seat belt strap and uh, get you out of your vehicle there. Nice little handy little thing there. And then on this side here, what do I got over here? Let me see if I can spin this around. I need like one of those tables to be all professional and stuff so I can have stuff. I do have that little cool thing that I told you about. Uh, this thing here holds up to about 100 pounds. I have this clip to it. And I'm trying not to knock my microphone down and all that jazz. One of these days I'll get me all those really expensive lav mics and all that BS at all the... Uh, really uh, big boys use but anyways that's that there I should focus on that since I got it like that I like this thing it has another little cutter on there for like seat belts and stuff like that it can hold up to 100 pounds and I like the striker here on that a uh, little flint striker there oh let's put that back and yeah this thing is probably gonna get knocked around the whole time while I'm doing this but anyways you can see I have, I have some of these straps uh, taped up and one of my outside backs is I always like to have my lights. And you guys know I'm a fan of the Olight. Some of you guys may not be, but I have the Olight M2 Warrior Pro on the side. It's just something that's part of my EDC everywhere I go. Uh, I'm not going to dive into each one of the products that I have in there because maybe I should do a review on those. I could probably do reviews for, you know, a year or so on them. Uh, and then on the side here I have a little, uh, little no-name blade basically, but it's just dummy justice for work. And uh, one thing that I did take out the bag because it's not YouTube friendly is the Pew Pew. Uh, but I've seen other people show it on there, but I, I guess I'm not going to do it right now. And then some of you guys are probably wondering what this is. Uh, most of you guys know I'm a vapor, be it if you don't like that or not. It's part of my EDC because it's what I use, and this is just some e-liquid on the side. Matter of fact, I'll take that stuff out of there and put this down here so I can get in there. So let's dig into, uh, this is going to be backwards. I'm going to dig into this pouch right here. I hope the mic picks up everything I'm saying. So this is kind of the fire starter uh, pouch. This is what I kind of made out into it. Um, and, uh, you know, I have a lighter in here, a big lighter. There. I have some, uh, this little tinder stuff. And this stuff, I don't know if you guys remember when I got won this uh, on the property that Dusty Data had. But uh, it has like, uh, you know, little tinder starters and stuff like that in there. And if I recall correctly, up at the top... Who knows? I know it has the extras in the bottom and some other stuff. I thought it had like a little thing on there too to, to a striker, but you know I don't want to break the thing. Anyways, I have the lighter and stuff like that. Super glue, which I have a couple of these in this bag. I'm a fan of super glue for all kinds of reasons. You guys probably know that. And then I got some of these storm proofs. This has the striker on the bottom uh, right here. And then top you have all these uh, matches. What I keep in sealed plastic just for extra protection. And like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep all this stuff in here. There's some things I'm probably going to lighten up on and, and, and switch out a little bit and do some stuff. 
But uh, that's kind of like a little fire. You know, have some tinder, some way to start fire and stuff like that. And remember, this is not a get home bag. This is just an EDC bag. This is something that I carry around everywhere I go. My get home bag is in my vehicle. The way I'm looking at this is if I get stuck away from my vehicle and I do have to go a ways to, to get to a, a friend's house or if I, have to, if I have to even get home, at least I have some things to get me to where I need to get in case my vehicle is lost. I don't know. Maybe there's some craziness around my vehicle and I can't get to it at the moment. Maybe they firebombed the heck out of it. Who knows what possibly could happen. But this is just something that I carry with me everywhere I go. And uh, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> I just like to carry. This is me. So some people are going to say, "Gray, you know, this thing here is is not." Uh, yeah, we're out of focus here. This thing here is not gray. Well, funny you say that. Here in my area in Florida, almost everybody has some sort of bag like this. Some of them are black, gray, green, blue, uh, all different colors. Uh, and you're saying, "Well, you know, mine's mine's more of an olive color." And there's a lot of folks. This is a military area. Uh, and it's a very southern area, so a lot of folks are wearing camouflage and all kinds of gear like that. So I blend in with the general population. All right, so anyway, so let's kind of go. What do I got up in here? I wonder if I can move this mic away from me so I don't keep on smacking it, making all kinds of noise. Um, so in here I have, this is a card. Pull this out. This is, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Let me see if you can get that close to the camera and see if it'll focus on that. But this is a Right in the Rain, uh, Randall's Adventure Training, School of Survival. It's an Essie basic thing. It has a bunch of cards in here uh, for all different ways for uh, maps and navigation I mean, and stuff like that. And then, of course, outside of that, in here, it has like a little little notepad to write on. Uh, you, know, you guys know I'm a fan of the Right in the Rain stuff. I just like it just because it's waterproof and you can do some stuff with this. That's in that little pouch there. And I guess, do we want to dive into the, oh, I guess we can uh, dive into this back pouch here. Um, and I do have, let's say, you know, extra power supply for small electronics, either my flashlight or uh, my phone. And let's start digging this stuff out here. A little green tea, just because I like tea. Uh, I was thinking about putting some coffee in there too. These are pain patches if you know you have a sore muscle, sore aches, and stuff like that. I have no idea what some of this stuff is, but we're about to find out because I just started shoving crap in here. What do we got? I got a spoon. Spoon in there with my favorite uh, every EDC food, tuna. Uh, it's just th this thing just these things just stay good for several years. I think this one expires what in 2023, so I still got a couple of years out of that one. What else do we got in here? Oh, we got an emergency poncho. Something I could have used that day, right? But I was already wearing a poncho. Let me try to move some of this stuff out of my way. And you guys know, whoops, I got another spoon in here. I don't know, I just like to have redundancies on different types of things. Some more tuna. Let me see what else we got. These packages go deep, and this is where uh, the other thing goes. Um, so in here also, couple biofreeze patches. I don't know if you guys know what biofreeze is. Again, for sore muscles and stuff like that. You're doing a long walk or lifting heavy stuff or moving stuff around, man. Sometimes you get pain, especially the older you get, man. These things work like miracle. And I cut them into pieces and put them on certain spots, my neck, arms, whatever, wherever I got issues at. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have some Propel. Uh, these are electrolytes down in here. What else do I got? I think that should be in that pouch because the other thing that's missing is the Pew Pew. Uh, which is usually back there as well. And yes, it fits comfortably back there. Um, and that's the that pouch on the back there. Alright, so let's go ahead and undo this buckle. This, this is a cinch strap. You can tighten stuff down with it. Uh, you can also hook stuff to this. I think it comes in very handy. And we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Did I go? No, I didn't. No, I didn't go over here to this side here. Well, where is it? Up here. I forgot to show you guys this part here. Here's where I have my Leatherman. Multi-tools are phenomenal and great for everything. That's where I have my Leatherman sitting at in there. And uh, I want to replace this pen that I have here on the side with a tactical pen, which I have three or four of those uh, in other places, and I'll put a tactical pen here. But at least I have a pen for now, in case I need to make notes or write stuff down. But that will work in the meantime. This is the cinch sack they're talking about here. You can cinch this down. You know, once that flaps over there, it kind of protects your stuff. 
from the rain and weather. Um, and it works well. It, it'll cinch down pretty good. I have it packed, you know me, because, you know, I'm always, I'm, I'm a, what's it called? I'm always over-prepared, I guess you can say. So let's see what's inside here. All right, I already showed you the Olight, and then I have my headlamp in there, which is just a standard headlamp. You know, it's always like, nice to be hands-free. If you're walking, you have your, you know, stuff on you, and you don't want to uh, keep your hands free, depending on what you have on there. So I have a dry sack in there. In case I need to put stuff that's, let's say, uh, and I'll show you what I mean, uh, things happen and you need a dry sack to keep certain things dry. Let's say you come across tinder or something like that. Whatever you may come across in your travels. Uh, and remember, this is a EDC bag, not a get home bag. So I want to keep on reiterating that. Dry sack. Now these things, I have so many of these because they're so affordable and cheap. And a Cat 7, I thought about putting a Cat 7 tourniquet in there uh, because it's my favorite. But, uh, and I could put it in one of these side pouches, which I may, because I can probably clip it to here or something. But right now I have the, the SWAT tees, and I like to keep these sealed in this bag because it keeps it nice and compact until needed. And you tear these things open quick and pull out this tourniquet, at least for me. Some people may have issues with it. I don't. Um, pair of clean socks. You never know. Socks are great. You always want to take care of your feet. Some ibuprofen. Uh, I know some of you guys will, great, why don't you just use, uh, you know, some uh, wild edibles. Well, you might not have that option when you're in the city. Uh, there's just not, they're just not plentiful. I'm not out in the woods. I'm in the city. I'm in a, at a store. You know, I'm, I'm traveling. You know, from point A to point B, and this is just a nice bag to have with all that kind of stuff in there. All right. I also have some emergency lighting just in case if I want some low light. Uh, I love these sticks. Uh, these glow sticks, they work well. I like the greens. They have some reds and yellows and blues, depending on what you're working for. The reds work great at night. Uh, if you have, like, so say, uh, you're trying to keep your, your eyesight because, you know, red works well for your eyesight. And what I guess what I'm trying to say with that is uh, the way you, your eyes react to bright light and red light. Uh, I don't think I need to go too deep into that. But these, I have found that, you know, they're about 12 hours, but I've gotten about 14 hours out of most of these sticks. And just to show that I'm not oh, no, I put it all around. I was about to show you. I have a huge case of those things over there somewhere what else do we got here gray let's not make this video four hours long um i have a pair of nitro gloves uh I, I probably have more gloves in here other than this pouch but these are gloves in case i have to come across something nasty or dirty I just want to keep my hands you know some pine sap or whatever the case may be uh on the travels because there's pines on, on all all over florida even in the city, they're in little parks and little, little side streets and stuff like that. There's just pines everywhere. If I want to take down some pines. Another thing I want to add to this, you know, is uh, some good stuff like that. Um, what else we got here? Oh, there's another glow stick. You guys are probably like, great. It's like Santa Claus, a gift that keeps on giving. Um, these things I always keep sealed up in their bags as well. Uh, this is a extra large uh, sole uh, emergency blanket. And, you know, it's not going to focus on me. You know, the camera doesn't like me. But anyways, these emergency blankets, I've showed these plenty of times on the channel, extra large, just because I can use them for the ground, I can use them to wrap myself up in, whatever the case may be. Um, here is my compass that I have in here. Um, I like the Brunton compasses, uh, as Jason says, compass. Uh, this one has a signal mirror in there and some other stuff, and there, th this is a specific type of compass, uh, compass, get myself confused, and I'll explain that down the road. I want to do a navigation video for you folks, but I've heard a lot of people don't care about navigation. I personally do. It's very important. Um, but this is a phenomenal little compass. Love this thing. And I'm probably going to replace this cord here eventually with some paracord. I don't like the little cord they gave you. It does serve its purpose, and it's pretty durable. You can wear it around your neck and keep it, you know, easy access. Uh, but, you know, knowing how to use a compass is extremely important for folks if you get lost or if you're in a place where you don't know. What else is Gray have in here? Oh, look. See, and this is what I'm saying. I have too much stuff in here. I have way too much stuff in here. I have another dry sack sitting in here. Why do I have two dry sacks, Gray? Who knows? Maybe it'll come in handy. Um, me, uh, I have a pair of... Uh, they're, I say they're cheap, but they do the purpose. These are some small Bushnells. Small compact binoculars. You never know. I like to see things from a distance before I get myself involved in something. I like to check and scope out things. Uh, but these little binoculars work well in there. Ain't nothing like having some good old uh, peepers. 
Good old peepers, you know what I'm saying? They're actually pretty comfortable, to be honest with you, those binoculars. For the price point, can't beat it. Um, so then I have some uh, solid fuel tabs in here. Uh, me, I'm always about fire because I can't, I can probably stick a Sawyer Mini in here somewhere if I lighten the load a little bit, maybe get one of these dry sacks and throw the Sawyer Mini in there, which I'll probably do. Uh, but, you know, boil water, cook food, all that stuff like that, whatever happens. And uh, I know you guys are like, great, man. Uh, you said you were just going from point A to point B. You're not going to survive with this bag, are you? Who knows? Who knows? At least I have it, right? At least I have it. What else you got down here, Gray? Spare batteries. Uh, these are 18650s. Uh, these can fit flashlights and also the uh, little vape thing that you guys see me do. Like my stuff, man. Like my stuff. Anything down in this pouch here? I think that do we got here. What do we got in this pouch here? So I've emptied those pouches. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. And you guys are like, man, this guy has all kinds of stuff in here. And these books are not working well holding this bag up. I'll tell you that. All right. So that bag, I've done this and done that. The front pouch, the back pouch. Um, then we have this little pouch. I'm going to have to scoot over. You guys are probably not going to be able to hear me with this mic. Shows I'm prepared. But anyways, more super glue. Uh, knife sharpener. Uh, this is one of the Smith's knife sharpener. Uh, I like it. Works good for me for cheap knives. Sorry about that loud noise. Uh, a Vix uh, vapor rub for your nose. Menthol, it's you know the menthol stuff. Uh, like I said, this is my EDC bag. Every everybody else has does it. Nail clippers with a file on there. Some chapsticks. Uh, and the reason that chap, did I, you guys can see that the chapsticks, chapstick. Yeah, I guess you guys see all that. Um. Next time, t say, next time somebody give me an idea of what I could use for a thing up here. And then I also have some more. I think this is more of a like a Brewster's lip balm. But you can use this stuff for other than just your lips and stuff like that. Uh, you can use it for little things like that. But this is a hand hand salve uh, that I like. Uh, it works really well. It's very small, little tin. Uh, pretty cool to have. I like it. Works for me. I think what it is is the bag is getting top heavy because of the keys. So let's move this up here. If it'll even work. And you guys are probably like, man, this is the most craziest review I've ever seen. Probably. Probably, man. Probably. All right, so this is kind of like, I guess this is more my my med pouch, mostly owie, and boo boos and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I, just, I was just throwing things in here just to you know weight it down and test it. I'm gonna rebuild this bag correctly. Like I said, there's some good stuff here, but I could do a lot better. I'll be honest with you. All right, so I have some more gloves in the medic side of things. Um, what else I got here? I got a chest wall seal in there. Uh, you guys have probably seen these plenty of times. Uh, chest wall seal. Uh, I guess in case I get shot, you never know. Maybe I can apply it myself. Probably not. But hopefully someone there knows how to use this stuff. You can only hope, right? Uh, another SWAT T in there. Never enough tourniquets, right? Uh, I have some uh, tape in there. Got some gauze in there. And the, the reason I keep these sealed, because someone's like, hey man, you never open that stuff, buddy. Well, you want to keep gauze sealed to keep it sterile. Drops mic. <laughs> Anyways, man, just having fun with you guys. Just having fun. Um, I got some skin protectant, some zinc oxide ointment in there. I got some triple antibiotic cream in there. What else do we got in here? Uh, we got some hydrocortisone cool relief gel in there. And what else do we got? We got some antifungal cream in there. Is that all the creams I have in there? And then I think the last thing I have in here, let me make sure and look deep in there. Nope, I do have something else in there. Some click, uh, click quick clot, uh, you know, bandage in there. These work extremely well. You apply pressure, use this. Great for uh, stopping a, a nasty wound or a nasty gash uh, and, and clot up that. But what I do have in there, down towards the bottom here, I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these. The camera probably won't focus on I actually focused on that. Uh, this is a tick remover. These, I like this format because it works really well. You put the tick and you pull back on there. And if you have the tick on you, you kind of kind of, you know, put that tick in there and you're going to pull back on it to try to remove that. So it's a little tick remover. And uh, yeah, I think, Gray, did you get through all this stuff? Did you find, I mean, the only thing you really didn't talk about, Gray, is your, uh, your little, uh, this usually goes on my wrist, but I put it there at night so I don't forget to put it little, uh, you know, paracord. Always good to have paracord. The more paracord, the better. 
Uh, that being said, I was thinking about doing a paracord wrap. Where is it at? Around the handle itself, which is right here. This handle, maybe wrapping some paracord around there and tying it into here. I thought it would be cool. And like they said, they got all these paracord zippers that work really good. These zippers are, they are like I was showing you that one day, they are smooth like butter. They do work really well. And uh, to be honest with you, these books are not good for stands. Really uh, upset me. Things are falling apart. This is that buckle. It does come out really quiet and easy. Uh, when it clips, though, if you're not holding it, it will make noise. But if you hold it in there, it'll lock in there pretty quietly. But, uh, you know, you can be quiet with it. But if you're not, if you're just clicking it, it does lock in there pretty good. Adjustable strap, even for a big guy like me, it fits really well. And uh, I don't know how many times the mic probably went sideways with it, but that's the bag, man. That's the bag. It has some molly on the side here that you can attach more stuff on there. Um, you know, this is you want to put your morale patches and stuff on here. Uh, but all in all, like I said, it has some straps in here. You can put some more things in there. Like I said, I have the hand cream on that side. And I think that's it. And this is all that stitching that they're talking about. Solid, solid. I mean, this is a solid, solid bag. I give them that. Extremely comfortable. Even with all that stuff in there. Uh, is extremely comfortable for me now I'm looking around like man you know when you end this video and uh, do all this you know edit and put it together you got to clean up this mess right so anyways uh, I do I do really like the bag to be honest with you uh, I really wanted the jumbo versa pack uh, because I wanted to have a bottle of a stainless steel uh, I was going to see if I can fit different size of bottles in there with some, the decent most decent stainless steel bottle I could stick on the side of that but it does not have that so I would need I mean, I have a ways to start fire, but I need, you know, something to carry water in, man. So that's the only downfall to the uh, Fat Boy. Is there's, I mean, I guess you could throw a bottle of water in there, but that's just, you know, then you're into the whole BPAs and how long is that water going to be in there. But anyways, uh, but it would be nice. I could probably attach the thing on the side, which would make it a little bit more bulky for, um, excuse me, to, you know, to carry a, uh, a water bottle. But, uh, I mean, this, I guess, I don't know. But again, I, I like it. it it's going to do the job for now. Um, I said that's the only thing it's lacking, and maybe that's why they came out with the Jumbo Versa Pack for that little uh, spot for the water bottle. Because I kept on looking at that, and I was like, man, mine doesn't have that. And then I figured it out, like, Gray, you ordered the wrong thing. You put the wrong order number in there. Because I order all these catalogs for the business and the company uh, when I see stuff that I like. And I didn't know that we were affiliated with Maxpedition, so I was like, okay, well, let me see uh, what they're going to charge me for this thing. And uh, so I ordered it up, and... Uh, was very happy when it came in but uh, I think it's gonna do the job honestly I, do, I really do uh, outside of the water issue but uh, I'll figure that out you know uh, put my mind to it and uh, and figure what I can do to solve that issue worst case scenario like I said you guys are probably thinking well because you, you need the, and the main reason I want the water the stainless steel water bottle in there is so that if I need to boil water I have a container to boil water in because I don't have that right now if I stick the Sawyer in there, then I have a way of water filtration. I can stop by a stream or a mud puddle or whatever and drink water. But I would rather, I would like to have something that I could uh, boil water in if I need to sanitize it or something like that outside of the Sawyer. So, other than that, that's the uh, breakdown of the, uh, yeah, Fat Boy Versa Pack. Not the, uh, not the uh, Jumbo Versa Pack. Maybe I'll get that one too. I don't know. And maybe I'll gift this one to someone else. If someone else is interested, I don't know. I'll figure it all out. But other than that, man, I want to say thank you all for uh, for joining me in this crazy, uh, unorganized, crazy uh, <laughs> review of a bag. Uh, but hopefully you had a little fun with it. You know what I mean? I'm not your uh, your run of the mill, you know, super professional. I'm gonna you know do this professional like uh, production and all these different video angles and downs and lefts and rights and cut here and cut there and lay everything out all pretty and stuff like that. That's just not me. Eventually, maybe, maybe, maybe when I get there. Um, but like I said, I'm buying all this stuff. There's no one's giving me any of this. No one's giving me that pack. I had to pay for that pack. So it's not like Max Edition is, uh, you know, saying, "Hey, uh, hey, great man, why don't you uh, do a review on this bag?" I'm just doing it because I like the bag, to be honest with you. And uh, that's my honest review of it. You know what I mean? Outside of the water bottle issue, which was the Jumbo does have, uh, and the Fat Boy doesn't. Uh, other than that, the bag is pretty good. Very comfortable. Easy on the shoulders, the padding, the zippers. The quality of the bag is phenomenal. Solid. You can probably beat the living crap out of that thing. Uh, and uh, it's going to it's gonna do your, do uh, have lots of years of service. So, I don't know. If I order the other one, maybe I'll give this one, uh, 
uh, maybe to, I don't know, I don't know if Lady Grey would want that or not, you know what I mean, she might, she might, who knows, anyways, now I'm just rambling, and uh, because it's late night, I need to, uh, well, it's in the morning for you guys, I'll be at work, but, um, but uh, I took a, you know, I had a nice day in the garden today, uh, the rain did push in, and uh, I just took a nice, sh had a nice meal, and a great shower, cleaned up to get ready for the week, as I say, the work week over at the shop, and uh, get some stuff done. Other than that, I will see you guys uh, tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so join me with Late Night with Gray, and you guys can poke fun at me at this review tonight. <laughs> That'll be fun, right? And we could also discuss it, discuss the end of the bag if you guys want to discuss that, you know, some of your thoughts on it, and uh, what I have in my bag. And give me some ideas. What could I do with it? Because I like to, feed, you know, I, I like to get feedback from you folks down in the comments. Uh, also, when we do the live streams, I like to read the comments uh, that you guys are saying. So we could touch on a few things tomorrow uh, with this bag as well. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's probably a half hour in, and you guys are probably great. Just shut up. That's the gist of it, man. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound. God bless, and see you tomorrow, and see you tonight at 10:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Late Night with Gray. Have a great day, everyone.